How to record clear and crystal professional vocals on Mixcraft 9. What is up you guys, my name is Mike Spiller, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, hit that like button and do me a favor, turn the notification bell on to help me grow because it seems like a lot of you like these Mixcraft videos, so I figured, you know, why not? Okay, so today I'm going to give you guys free tips that I personally use to get my vocals as clear and, as, and professional as possible, even when you don't have a strong system. I have a small ass weak laptop with this USB mic and that's it. So yeah, these tips work for anybody and um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Let's get started. Now before we jump into the actual program, obviously you know before we can get started on that, you need to plug in all your equipment, your sequences, your headphones, your studio mics, everything. Once that is done, then you can go into your program and set everything up, which is what we're going to do right now. All right, opening Mixcraft 9. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to run through this step right here. Um, I, I made a video on how to get started on Mixcraft 9. I'll put it in the description of this one if you guys want to watch that. Let's just click on OK for now. Okay, yeah, this is the trial version. I still need to license it. Okay, so this is Mixcraft 9. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to set up your equipment. So you're going to go to File click on preferences and then your driver you, you're gonna have to choose this here they say ASIO is the best is the the best option but I find my core audio wave RT to be perfectly fine so I'm I'm not gonna fix something that's not broken all right then you're gonna choose your microphone I, I use a Dixon UM20 condenser microphone and then your playback will be your speakers or your headphones all right then you simply click on OK then the track that you want to record on, you click on the arm button and as you can see, there's my voice pickup. Now, before you can record, there's a couple of things that you need to do. You, can all, you need to make sure that your vocals does not go past into the red. It has to stay in the middle. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can decrease the gain if you, if you um, feel like your vocals are too loud. You can increase them if your vocals are too soft, but the best option is to control your distance from the microphone itself. Okay, so now, obviously, you don't want to be way too close up front against the mic because that's going to pick up too much of your breathing and your air and all that, and that's going to mess up your mix. You also don't want to be too far away because that's going to that's gonna also pick up more of the background sounds. What I do is I take four fingers away from the pop filter, and the pop filter is two fingers away from the mic. So six fingers in total. And uh, yeah, it usually works for me. <laughs> so once you found your distance, you are ready to go. All you're going to do is then, obviously, you're going to get a beat and drag it into here. So you'll have a beat to work on. Then you're going to click on monitor. And, and then, then you're, you're going to hear yourself in the speakers to make, make sure there's no cracking in the sound or whatever. And, and then, then here you can also play around. around. But what I always like to do is I go to the master, the master track and I add <coughs> just a classic master limiter because it helps balances everything from the bat right off much easier and much better. And yeah, I guess that's basically it, guys. Let's do a trial run. Okay, let's do this one. One, two, one, two. Okay. Testing one two mic check. Testing one two one two. All right. Now let's listen back to what I did. First, unclick here. Testing one two mic check. Testing one two one two. Okay, so the vocals are nice and clear. However, as you as you guys can see, my waves are a little bit soft. So, like I said, I can either come a little bit closer to the microphone, but not too much because that's going to enhance all the um minor things in your voice like the s's and the t's and stuff that you don't want to be too close to the pickup of the microphone that's why you need to find that perfect balance between the gain of the track itself and your distance from the microphone as well as the volume of your voice and all that but some people say that's not necessary they use effects to balance out all these things now this is a bonus that i want to give you guys okay this is my personal effects that I use to get clear vocals whenever I'm making a song. All right, first I have the multi-band compressor. This is very crucial. <coughs> I 
simply put it on smooth I did not adjust anything else you just click there click the smooth preset and that's it Platonic tube equalizer very important as well so you can balance your mid frequencies highs lows low frequency cuts and all of those extra things as well as add a tube for the frequencies then reverb as always the the amount of reverb al always differ from the type of song that I'm making but I usually add just a dash and then yeah next we have the T-Pain effect now this is the effect <coughs> this is the autotune effect but this will not be available on Mixcraft itself you will have to go download the T-Pain effect separately Mixcraft does have its own um, type of autotune it's called the G-Snap Pitch Correctioner but G-Snap Pitch Correction but for me I prefer the T-Pain effect because it's just more user friendly but again that's just my preference Next we have the TB parametric equalizer, very important. This will be according to your voice. There is no right or wrong way to play with this thing. Um, Cause everybody has their own voice, but this is the perfect tool for you to use. If you wanna switch up your voice, maybe there's too, bass, too much bass or too much treble. This equalizer is so powerful guys. Like you can do so much, trust me. And then last but not least, I add a little bit of delay only if i want to not always but yeah that's basically that guys um nothing nothing too difficult um i'm planning on making a lot more of these mixture of videos so stay tuned and uh yeah well that is the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching again if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments section hit that subscribe button if you have not done so smash the like button and I want to try to make a lot more of these mixed raw videos because I really enjoy them and I see that you guys do as well. Now, I just quickly want to ramble a little bit more. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of new songs dropping. Um, it's not songs, like freestyle songs dropping at the end of this year. Um, up until then, I'm only going to drop covers and remixes here and there. So I'm not going to be posting my own music for a while. Um, I just feel like I want to try to do it properly from now on because I usually just record, post it and... It doesn't really do as well as I want it to. So obviously I'm doing something wrong on my end. So I'm going to try to figure that out first to make the most out of this opportunity. All right, guys, with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day and peace.